Hello friends. So today's video is about file descriptors in Unix, which is a very important topic or um, concept which everyone should uh, know and understand um, uh, who are all uh, working on Unix or Linux platforms. So let's start. So first we will see what are file descriptors in Unix. So file descriptors are nothing but integers or numbers that are associated uh, with file input um, and output so they keep a kind of track of opened files uh, so the best known file descriptors are standard in standard out and standard error these are the reserved ones and you can have your own customized file descriptors as well uh, we even can redirect the contents of one file descriptor to another um, now, while writing any shell script, uh, we use standard input, standard output, and standard error very frequently. So, um, even we don't know that we are using it, right? So, redirection of an input to a file by filtering the contents is one of the essential things that um, we need to perform. So, while um, a command outputs some text, um, it can be either an error um, or an output um, message right so we cannot distinguish whether it is an output text or an error text by just looking at what is being printed right so however um, we can usually handle them by using file descriptors so we can extract um, the text um, that is attached or associated to a specific descriptor um, with the execution of a particular command so um, there are three uh, normally reserved types of file descriptors that are 0 1 and 2 so um, this is uh, 0 which is standard in uh, that is standard input the other one is standard output and the last two standard error right so 0 1 2 um, file descriptor integers are the reserved ones and if you want to have the customized file descriptors so you can use it three uh, number three onwards okay now here we'll see how to save or append uh, text uh, to a file right so um, this is the first example where uh, we can redirect um, or saving the output text to a file can be done like with this uh, particular example of command where we have echo um, and double quotes we have uh, sort of a simple example uh, I mean sample text and which has been redirected to temp.txt so this would store the echo text this is the echo text in temp.txt right by truncating the file um, because it has the single redirect sign over here so the contents will be emptied before writing so after emptying the file it will write this particular text now if you want to append it so we can use um, double signed redirect um, um, sign over here okay so it is not going to empty the file but it is going to um, add this particular text to the end of this file now let us um, see um, how to redirect standard error and standard out so uh, here we have um, uh, uh, what a standard error is and how you can redirect it that is what we can see over here now what is standard error so standard error messages are printed um, <clears throat> when commands output an error so let's see this example um, ls uh, plus so ls is nothing but list but plus is nothing but an invalid argument uh, which we have put over here by mistake let's consider that example so what would be the output uh, here we'll see that ls cannot access no such file or directory right so um, so whatever is being printed over this is a standard error message right so uh, now we will see this part ls plus redirect to out.txt now if we try to redirect let's see that we are trying to 
uh, output this particular this uh, whatever is coming with the execution of this command we want to store it in this file out.txt the this particular command prints the standard error text to the screen rather than um, to this particular file out.txt uh, why because uh, there's no standard output uh, which is a sort of successful message or something to be printed with the execution of this command uh, these are uh, this is considered as standard output so, but this is standard error message and that's why the file will remain empty and the standard error message will come over here again okay but how we can store this particular standard error message in a file so this is what we can use so ls plus to and redirect to output so we have the integer numbers for standard error as 2 right so we are just redirecting the uh, content of this descriptor to out.txt and it is going to work right because it is not now it is not going to show any such messages in the field or error messages over here but it will be um, added over here in this file right Now, if we want to, uh, suppose, uh, if you want to um, um, redirect standard error and uh, standard out to different files, okay, so if, if we don't want any kind of um, um, standard out with the execution of a command, but we want to uh, have the standard error to one file and standard out to another file so we can use this type of command where see this is command and to redirect to standard error.txt so it is going to redirect the standard error to this file and one which is standard out integer file descriptor so it will be redirected to standard out.txt right now um, if uh, if you want to uh, redirect both standard uh, error and standard out to a single file by converting standard error to standard out using this preferred method right so what it is happening uh, we are going to execute this command and this is a standard error redirected or it is being converted i um, mean the standard error converted to standard out and it will be printed over here so to redirect ampersand one so this is going to what it is going to do it is going to put both standard error and standard out to a single file that is output.txt um, now we can use some alternative method or approach as well so command and person and then redirect to output.txt it is going to do the same thing which we are doing over here now uh, sometimes the output may contain uh, unnecessary information such as debug messages and if you don't want the output terminal burdened with all sort of debug messages that is standard error details then uh, you should uh, redirect the output of standard error to um, slash dev slash null uh, which removes it completely um, let's consider an example where we have three files let's say a1 a2 and a3 uh, in the same directory however um, a1 does not have the read write execute permission for the user and we have a um, read write execute permission for a2 and a3 so when you need to print the contents of files starting with a so we can use this command cat a star so it is going to it is it will try to print all the contents of the file starting with a right so if we have three files a1 a2 a3 now here we are going to see this particular error message for a1 which is permission denied but the contents of a2 and a3 are printed as expected now this is standard error and we have this content as standard output now if you want to remove this particular standard error details right so what we can do is like we can use cat a star and 2 is for standard error redirected to error.txt
so standard is uh, standard error is redirected to error.txt right so the output will be this a2 and a3 that is we have a problem with a1 so that particular error message is being taken care over here and the rest of the output is being printed over here you know now if we look at this cat error.txt if you're just going to print this so it will show the error message that we are getting for a1 that is permission denied now if we want to uh, remove um, the standard error message completely from the i mean we don't have to store it anywhere but we don't want it in the execution part as well so we can redirect it to dev slash null so what it is it is a sort of null device of a system where anything uh, which is being redirected uh, will be discarded or it won't be printed or it will be removed completely so it is a kind of sort of garbage collector which is of no use so we are putting everything uh, all the unnecessary information to this null device and it is just going to throw away all the information which is there okay so we can use cat e star to redirect dev null so here we are going to get the start standard output as a2 and a3 which will be printed away and the standard error output will be thrown uh, with the help of dev null device right now this is standard error is redirected which removes it completely right okay now there's a way to redirect data to file as well as uh, provide a copy of redirected data as standard in for the next set of commands so this can be done using um, the command which is t over here if you can see here t double e now with this example to print standard out in terminal as well as redirect standard out into a file the syntax for t can be used as like this now if we look at the actuals of this one uh, the standard in data which is received by uh, this t command right so standard in uh, will be received after this uh, with this particular command cat a star so it writes a copy of standard out to out.txt so whatever will be the standard out it will be written over so what would be the standard out it is a2 and a3 right because a1 is not having enough permissions to read the content so a2 and a3 would be the standard out and it would be printed over here and um, this is going to uh, send another copy as standard n for the next command which is cat hyphen n now cat hyphen n command puts a line number for each line received from the standard in and writes it into the standard out right so here we have a2 and a3 and this is uh, going to add the line numbers to it so what will be the output here we have the output as the standard error message and then we have 1a2 and 2a2 from the standard out from this command okay now if we look at what we have in this out.txt so out.txt is nothing but the standard out from this command right so by default t command overrides the file but it can be used with appended portion so this is what we have in today's video thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel and share it as much as you can thank you so much bye bye